Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. Nerdy Pappy here. We're going to be talking about the Matt VT yards and how to change the sign. This is a different way than I showed you before. And this one is using the sign editing file. So hop over to his selfie, selfie website to yards. Pick that file up. When you download it, you're going to unpack it into a folder and you'll see a SES file called edit and then you'll have the instructions um, you want to right click the SES file and open it with WinRAR extractor then you want to go and look for the uh, Tana 95 sign surret sign template dot dds you want to right click that and say extract to a specified folder what i do is i don't change the destination because it's going to open it's going to put it right where i opened up this file but it's going to make its own folder for it and there you see it right there the edit sign folder and there's the image, the DDS. We want to open it with paint.net. Once we have it open, uh, what you're going to want to do first is go to the panel on the lower right hand side and add a layer because we want to keep the original template beneath what we're doing and then uh, what we want to do is grab ourselves a graphic now I I haul a lot of uh, Bell helicopters in the game so I've got a designated Bell helicopter truck so I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a sign for a yard that is uh, Bell helicopter related I thought that might be fun to do and uh, you know it'll it'll give us a chance to do this little instruction video I wouldn't necessarily call it a tutorial but uh, at any rate we're gonna take a moment to dig out this graphic for the <laughs> for the Bell helicopter I've got a folder on my hard drive that has all my graphics that I use so now I'm grabbing the uh, the Bell helicopter logo and we'll find it here in a second there we go Bell helicopter logo and of course you'll have your own kind of logos I know and if you watched my last video we we dealt with files and that kind of thing but this one's a little different so you're going to select all copy I'm going to go back to our uh, sign template and I'm gonna what I'm going to do now I'm going to add another layer because I just had an idea I think I can work with multiple layers so I'm going to go up to the third layer because this one's going to be on top of everything. Paste it. You can see the active layer down below because it's blue. And you'll know that's your active layer. What I'm going to do is stretch this out to where I kind of like it. And move it around a little bit and whatnot. And once I'm happy with it, if you look down below right there where the arrow is you'll see a size that was the size that I had stretched it to that was the bounding box so now I'm gonna just go back to my Bell logo and I'm gonna change that to the same size that was on that bounding box because then I don't have to mess around with trying to get it exactly the same size as the first one that I stretched that that's just to me it's easier it's going to make it the same size. Uh, there we go. We're going to select all. Edit, select all. Edit, copy. Go back to our 
template we're gonna edit I deselected that other uh, graphic and then I just paste it in there now you notice those are exactly the same size I'm gonna drag it down to where I'm happy with it, it looks similar to the one above it because it's two-sided sign after all and if you're dealing with a full sign that you've already created you can just paste it in there and just cover up mats or whatever but I like to keep the base template there's my other graphic that I want to use on this particular sign uh, select all copy go over here and we're going to go back to that middle layer because I want it underneath the bell uh, logo but above Matt's uh, background there so I'm just going to stretch it to fit I want to fit it kind of within that black frame that's already there and there we go that was easy enough to stretch in place I'm not going to worry about the bounding box size and getting another one to match it exactly so we're just going to paste another copy drag it down below and fit it in the frame pretty easy to do working with layers is no big deal all kind of tutorials out there if you need help with it but uh, anyway that that keeps the uh, the bell logo on top where I wanted it and the graphic of the helicopter underneath I'm happy with that. I'm going to deselect everything that I have selected. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to save this. We're going to save it as a DDS file. And we want to save it with the same name of the template that we grabbed. Because it needs to be the same name so that you don't uh, break the um, the mod because you know it's looking for a specific name in the OBJ file and if that uh, if that OBJ file can't find that name it's gonna it's gonna break the mod or there won't be any texture showing or whatever so I'm gonna save it as the same name but I'm gonna just switch to the main folder so I'm not overwriting the main template. There we go. And we'll flatten it. That'll flatten all the layers together. And then we're done in there. Uh, I'm happy with that. I think it'll come out all right. And we're just going to exit out of that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open up that SCS file again, the edit sign. And we're going to right click it and open it with WinRAR. And then we're gonna we're gonna go back to that same file path and we're gonna delete the existing DDS file that sign underscore template and then we want to add files to archive we're gonna go back and get that sign that we just made and we're gonna put that in there now we're done in there so we can exit out what we want to do now is copy that SCS file go to our documents American truck simulator mod folder if that's where you have yours placed right click and paste that's a new mod doesn't doesn't have anything to do with your yard mod other than it's gonna it's gonna uh, interpret to it what's supposed to be on the sign so you don't really actually have to go in and mess with the files in the uh, yard like I showed you on the last video. And if you forgot where that was at, I'll put a tag at the top of this video so you can refer back to it. But open up your American Truck Simulator and then we'll go to the yard. Well, we'll go to mod first. 
we want to go to our mod manager that mod that we just created edited whatever you want to call it uh, the edit sign is right there edit sign here you want to activate it and then we're gonna you don't have to I don't think but I'm gonna go ahead and decrease the priority uh, it only deals with our yard mod so I'm just gonna make sure it's right above my yard and with with Matt's uh, yards you usually drop those all the way to the bottom of your list so it's the lowest priority I'm gonna put it right above it because it needs to be above it in your order so confirm the changes if it's not above it it won't uh, it won't affect it that's that's the deal there so go into the game and go back to your yard here we are loading and there we go we're gonna go to photo studio so you can see this and as soon as I can figure out how to move the camera around <laughs> there we go now you can kind of see it it's I know it's in the distance but you can kind of see it there looks pretty cool that's our now if from the other tutorial I had the other uh, sign still in here that's in the actual yard mod itself and you'll see it here in a minute because I'm gonna go in in a minute and I'm gonna deactivate this mod that has this helicopter sign on it and show you how easy it is to switch back and forth in case you're wanting to change uh, you know change your yards for some reason from one signage to another periodically or permanently or whatever um, so there it is and I was telling you in the other video that I knew there was another sign and when you make these changes there it is over there in the distance um, when you make these changes it's going to affect all your signs so uh, that free file that we downloaded that edit sign here mod uh, that was effectively that will modify all your yards all your map VT yards from what I understand so uh, you just have to have it above it in the order now we're going to go back to our mods and wait for it to load <laughs> I'm just going to go down there and I'm just going to deactivate it for now confirm the changes now the game's going to yell at me because I turned the mod off so it's gonna it's gonna yell at me a little bit but that's okay we can handle it I just wanted to show you that you know I made one change in the in the files of the yard mod itself and then I have sort of an add-on sign that I can use in place of what's in the yard mod by using this uh, free file from Matt VT yards so here we are back in game back at our yard let's turn on some sunshine here don't want it to be raining today there we go we get back over to the sign and you will see that it matches the one on the door of my truck which is the circle C ranch signage and anytime I want I can go back in and reactivate that mod and it'll be back to the helicopter again if that's what I want to do 
So that's it. Easy enough done. I'm glad Matt provided this uh, file because it makes it even easier. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.